here's an optimization problem from economics. The situation, we're selling tickets at a concert, we want to maximize our profits. Now, if we set our ticket price at $60, we can expect that our attendance will be 3,000 people. So it's 3,000 tickets sold. For every $6 that we decrease our price, we can expect to increase our attendance by 600. Expenses are $12 per ticket. Calculate the ticket price that maximizes profit. Now, we have an optimization problem. So, there's a checklist. First item in that checklist, we read through our problem carefully. We extract all the information that we can. We name variables. And we identify the function that we're trying to maximize or minimize. So, we go through line by line. Our first sentence, we're told, at a price of $60, attendance will be 3000 so here I have two variables. I have ticket price and tickets sold. So we'll call those S and Y. Then for the next line, we're just given a rule for how to adjust attendance when we adjust ticket price. So for every $6 decrease, we're going to increase attendance by 600. I'll use that rule concretely in a little bit. Then I have expenses or $12 per ticket. So that means total expenses are just going to be $12 times the number of tickets sold, or 12 times Y. Finally, we want to calculate the ticket price that maximizes profit. So the function I want to maximize is going to be profit, and our final answer is going to be in terms of ticket price. Now, here we have everything that we're given. The item we're trying to maximize is profit. Before we do any calculus, let's model a little bit just to get an idea of what's happening. Now, instead of trying to make our variable ticket price, instead, I'm going to make it variable X, which is going to be the increment of $6 that we're decreasing the ticket price by. So when X is 0, I have 60. X is 1, I have 54. We just subtract off 6. 48. 42, and so on. Then, you can use the increment to get the number tickets sold. So when the price is 60, we have 3,000. Then for each increment, we just add 600. So 3,600, 4,200, 4,800, and so on. Now, if I want to calculate the profit, the formula is profit equals revenue, which is just all the money we collect from ticket sales minus the expenses. So for revenue, we're just going to take our ticket price times the number of tickets sold. Okay, you can work all those out. For our expenses, we're going to take the number of tickets sold, multiply that by $12. Then if I want the profit, we just take the difference of our columns here. So here are profits for a given set of X and ticket prices. One thing we'll note, okay, these numbers are symmetric. So I'm expecting the ticket price that maximizes profit to be between our increments for one and two. So if we take the average of these two, we're expecting it to be 51. So that'll be our check in our work. Now, let's try to get everything in terms of this variable X. So for our price, what we're doing, we're just taking our 60, we're going to subtract off x times $6. So that's going to give me a formula for price in terms of x. For the number of tickets sold, we're just going to take 3,000, and then we're taking our x times 600. So these we're going to carry over to the next board. In order to maximize profit, we need to put the profit function in terms of a single variable. In this case, that variable is going to be x. Now, we take ticket price, which we're calling S, that's equal to 60 minus 6X. If I take number of tickets sold, it's equal to Y, that's equal to 3,000 plus 600 times X. Our formula for profit 
It's revenue minus expense. So I want to put revenue and expense in terms of X also. Now, for revenue, this is going to be our ticket price times the number of tickets sold. So I take each of these items, we multiply out. That gives me this polynomial here. For expense, take our $12, multiply by the number of tickets sold. Then we get another polynomial. And if I want profit, we just take their difference. So for our final profit function, we get this polynomial here. Now, in order to maximize, our next step is take the derivative, we'll look for critical points. Recall, the critical points are going to be where the derivative is equal to zero or does not exist. In this case, we have a derivative for all x, so we're just going to set this equal to zero and solve. So we get x equal to one half for our only critical point. Now, let's find our values. So for the price, for x equal to 1 half, I'm going to get $51. That agrees with what we had in the previous board. The number of tickets sold will be 3,900 tickets. The profit at x equal to 1 half, that's going to be equal to 152,100. So again, our previous board checks that. Finally, to make sure I have a maximum, I just sketch the graph of our profit function. Now, if you notice, this is a quadratic. So the graph is going to be a parabola. Coefficient of x squared is minus 3,600. It's negative, so this parabola is facing down. We know where the critical point is. So it's going to verify that we have a maximum at x equal to 1 half.